Welcome back, everybody, to New Super Mario Bros. U. Now we gotta figure something out. Okay, the one up top, I do believe, is marked four. So, I'm gonna go along this path, even though it's gonna make me run into a damn fuzzy. So, hey, we'll pick up a damn item. I'll just defeat you with fire power. I don't need no powers of the damn star. If you didn't have fire flower or some other way to dispose them, that angel block has a star in it. And we get a star for our inventory, which is good. I guess. Even though I haven't been, really been using items in the old inventory all that much in this playthrough. Uh, yeah, here we go. Bouncy Cloud Boomerangs. Where we have Koopas. Paracoopas, that is. And here are the aforementioned bouncy clouds. I do like me the ice flower power up. Particularly in this level. Simply because there are Boomerang Brothers in this level. Boomerang Brothers are complete jerks and assholes, which is why I'm going to kill this guy. Before going down here to get star coin number one. There we go. I'm going to crash through here. Bounce on some more of these clouds, and there is a uh, beanstalk here. Go up on the beanstalk. Go into the secret area. Where we will eventually find a POW block. How exciting. There's your POW block. So we hit the POW block. There's your second star coin already. I could go for the red coins here, but honestly, this is actually kind of the, one of the harder uh, red ring challenges. And I mean red ring in this game, I don't mean x backs Okay, that pipe actually just leads to cannon that'll shoot me out of a place and just go over here. I want to I get rid of that there boomerang brother. Because he can do that. He's kind of a jerk. He's kind of a dick. Ooh, star! I want the star! Thank you. Because there's annoying boomerang bros. That hit me just as I get out of my star. Out of my invincibility, I guess you would say. Mario time. And that will allow us to create a pathway to get to level 6 of this world, but we still got level 5 to do. And now we gotta figure out what's up with that. Okay, it looks like if I take the top route, that will lead me down to that down there, and it will also lead me into a fuzzy. I am going to combat that with Ice Flower. Even though the Ice Flower itself won't kill them. No, that just leads there. Why? How did I not see that? How oh, freaking... See, these paths are different every time. I think I'm screwed either way there. I want to get to the damn thing. Okay, looks like if I take the top. Oh God, you only have to do this once to get to the damn level you want to go to. That's annoying.
All right. I can combat you with Ice Flower. Don't think I can't. There we go. And another star for our inventory. Now, the angel block, I think, gives us something for our inventory that's a little bit more direct, but whatever. Time for a quick dip in the sky. Going for a sky dip. Ah, it's this level. It's the level that has the inexplicable bubbles in air that have water physics. Lovely. This level can actually be quite difficult without firepower. So, good thing... The, uh... Thing in there at the beginning of the level gave me firepower. I want to say there's something up there. Uh, it's just a bunch of coins. And a one-up. Can't complain about that, I guess, unless, you know, you're... You've already... you're already at max lives. Right, so I've taken out the giant piranha plants so I can get this star coin very easily. Alternatively, you can just throw Koopa shells at them. Continue to go up in the world. There we go. Get rid of that there, Fuzzy. And real easily get our second star coin here, and we can actually go in here and just power through these enemies up here. And we're gonna have Fuzzies guarding the third star coin. Fortunately, we have firepower, so we can dispose of them easily. There we go. Might hear me hitting the jump button a lot in this level. We're swimming a whole bunch. I'm trying to go up, and I wouldn't go up the pipe even though I was clearly holding up on the stick. Go up the damn pipe! Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you! If you're able to jump off that properly, you could get a 1-up off the flagpole. But who needs 1-ups if you're at max lives already? Hint, not me. All right, now for Snaking Above Mist Valley. Apparently Mist Valley is very sunset-ish. One of those blocks had a, uh... had a super acorn... had a, uh... had an acorn in there. Ugh. Words. How do they work? Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, now we're going to want to hit this B-switch. For the sole reason that we need to hit it in order to turn these things, the bricks there, into coins. So we can get that there star coin. That's right, this acorn suit, or this flying squirrel suit, I keep getting that wrong, is a thing we're going to want to keep for the third star coin. Not necessarily for the first two. Right, this will launch me up into the second half of the level. Where we are greeted by another snake block. Or more to the point, a snake composed of blocks. And there's another acorn suit. Oh, 
all this crap out of our way. Auto scrolling levels, you gotta love them. And by love them, I mean you want to murder them. Get rid of all this crap. I want to see possible hazards in my way. There we go. That's how you very easily get the uh, last star coin. Kind of have to get out ahead of the snake block. And then jump back onto it. Can be tricky to do, but... Needless to say, it can be done. And now we gotta ride the auto scroll to the end of the freaking level. Where we can go in a pipe that will not shoot us out like a cannon. But instead will allow us to transfer to the end of the level. And get applauded by the idiots in the audience who are apparently watching. Mario time. And now we come to a very loathed level. It's called Ludwig's Clockwork Castle. Oh, Ludwig. Ice flower, I want this. It is something that I want to keep, if at all possible. Get that out of here. Damn fire, brother. There's your first star coin. I'm gonna wait for that to come back that way before we go down. Okay, hurry through here. I think there's another power up in that block. The key to this level is to make sure you don't get in a situation where you're gonna be crushed. We really don't like it when things go squish. Freeze the sumo bro so that we can get to Pow Block, which has the second star coin. Alternatively, you can jump off him, but that's a little bit riskier. Since he has the innate ability of uh, making his hitbox whack out. Make sure you're off the ground whenever he does one of those huge-ass ground stomps. Otherwise, you will be stunned momentarily, and that is all you need in order to get just completely destroyed. That's all that would be necessary. Oh, shit. There we go. just want to get you out of the damn way. Alright, I want to freeze you over. So I can use you as a platform to get to you, so I can destroy you. I want that third star coin, and I don't want to get crushed. There we go. I managed to do it without being a complete failure. Now it's time to take on Ludwig von Koopa. With his crazy blue hair. Get on that airship. Bonk. Uh, Ludwig's gimmick here is he is going to make clones! How do you tell the real one? Whenever they shoot their magic, the real one shoots three. That is how you always tell. Now 
Damn it, I wasn't anticipating enough. Okay, so the real one is the one on the right, not the one that just landed on me. Damn it! I thought I was gonna do, like, a super thing where I'm able to do a thing properly. There we go. That's pretty simple, honestly. And really, I shouldn't have taken those two stupid hits there. But, we are not actually completely done with World 7, oh no. We actually still have one more level to go. If you couldn't tell by the suspicious looking platform over there to the left. could possibly be there. Let's find out. I'm gonna power up first. If for the simple reason that I'm not using these damn things. Yeah, the airship's gonna pick us up again. And I mean literally this time. Or at least it's going to try. The reason I wanted to be somewhat powered up is because of this here. The uh, flying squirrel suit. This is something that I'm going to want to keep. For reasons that will be explained by people. Particularly me. Oh yes, we have more auto-scrolling goodness, while well, we have, uh, Iggy's Castle from Super Mario World here. I have no idea whether the giant claw damages you or just simply crushes you. But it always goes in a set pattern. So if you can recognize that, then this is infinitely easier. Now he tries the Falcon Punch. Limited success. She just punches through everything. Yeah, yeah, just keep your punches going. your first star coin and you can actually get you actually can get the uh, first star coin after Bowser has punched through the thing again if you have your flying squirrel suit Mount moles they like to throw their wrenches and now we have this thing you remember those things that you tilted in new Super Mario Bros Wii yeah they're here making a fairly unwelcome return, in most people's opinions. There's your second star coin. I don't know, I never found this that bad. But there you go, maybe that's just me. Just a symptom of how I work. All right, now I want to keep this flying squirrel suit for the reason that it is pretty much impossible to get the third star coin without it. I mean, I tried and failed spectacularly. So spectacular, you couldn't believe it. Continue along, and up here... Up here is where the third star coin resides. Get out of here, you stupid Monty Mole. Oh, 
damn it. Whoa, hello. I'll let you live, I just want to go in the damn pipe. Take note that this is like, this is the only stage in the entire game that has two checkpoints. And... It will outright give you a fire flower. I am not actually going to pick that up. The simple reason... That I've never actually tried fighting this boss with the flying squirrel suit. So I'm gonna at least give it a shot. Oh yeah, drop your bombs. There we go. All you have to do is jump on him. I guess what you're meant to do is throw the bombs onto the thing. Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter. I got two hits on him. That was actually pretty effective, honestly. Now he's gonna start throwing three bombs at a time. Start falcon punching a little more often, but... I could just abuse game mechanics. Such as hit points. My advantage. And basically just lame it out. I am the best at fighting bosses. I guess. Oh, great. I'm gonna try and falcon punch us into the airship. And Mario is smart enough to dodge because the thing is too stupid to not do it right away. And now... Bowser Jr. has just crashed his dad's airship. That is not good. Just completely fucking destroyed it. Good job. Commend you for that. And now Bowser Jr. is gonna dare us, basically, to, uh, head into Peach's castle, it looks like. It's Swirled by a tornado of nastiness. Look at that, we've completely cleared meringue clouds, we have all the star coins. We'll save. And we're gonna give you a little preview of World 8. Beach's Castle. Junior patrolling, and presumably Bowser being the final boss here. That's not a spoiler, it's an eventuality. So, next time, we will begin the trek into Peach's Castle. We'll see you then.